Shut up and sit down. Good morning, my children of the night. We are up and about. It is 7.05, it's pretty dark. There is a sunrise on the mountains, which is incredible. And we are just going to the bus stop nearest to the house um, to take a bus into Fusen to then be able to get a train into Munich. Oh my God, it's so cold out here, but it's incredible. changing plan this morning we were gonna go to Munich and the bus didn't turn up or the bus turned into a coach I don't know but needless to say the 56 did not come so we didn't have like enough time to be able to get to the first train that goes to Munich from like the train station so now we've swapped our two days and we will be going around uh, the lake that's nearest to the apartment taking a nice kind of like two hour walk I think waiting for the mist to clear and then from there we are going to go up the cable car and hopefully have some nice views um, with like sunny weather instead of misty weather so that's what we're gonna do I think we're loving this walk. Are we loving this walk, Tash? Pardon? Are we loving this walk? We are loving this walk. Yay! The and sun's the sun come out. out. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like the main thing. Because uh, we were worried the missile wouldn't clear, but it said it's going to be sunny like practically all day. So it's definitely doing that now with a nice kind of like mist on top. It's kind of cute. Good for photos anyway. Just need it to warm up now. <laughs> yeah, we're getting like cold fingers taking photos. <laughs> stage back so we're further than halfway and um, we're seeing some wood carvings on the way actually <laughs> Tash just stopped to take a photo of the carving but yeah there's a few carvings on the way lots of lovely cows lots of lovely smell of cows <laughs> um, but yeah so now we're kind of on like the route back and then we're gonna hop off into Fusen go to the um, tourist information get some good ideas about um, how to travel home on um, Wednesday and yeah I'm loving this walk we're now kind of doing the misty bit so it must be moving kind of this way in this direction um, yeah loving it so far Back 
back. We're back to square one. This is where we saw the sunset last night and now we can actually see across the lake towards kind of civilization. So now we're going to grab a bite to eat before we go into town because I think doing 12,000 steps is uh, yeah, a little too much for the morning without a big amount of food. So that's what we're going to go and do. We're going to go try and track down some food. climbed the cable car and we've had something to eat for lunch and now we're going to start the um, descent towards the base of the cable car um, I believe it's like two two hours I think to get down um, but we're not sure if we're gonna get stuck because St Mary's bridge is closed so obviously we'll see what's happening there but otherwise it's still gonna be beautiful views and hopefully we'll get to see the castle one more time So she can see whether it's a good view from the bottom because it is freaking steep on the way up so i thought well rather than both of us killing our legs i'll be the lazy one <laughs> and i'll stay here so she's taking some pictures anyway to show me but she said you can't really see the castle from there um and she's only halfway down so i think we're going to be going back on the cable car by the way my recommendation is to definitely do the cable car so it was 20 euros 20 cents to get up here and then go back down again so it's like a return fare i would recommend doing it because the views are beautiful and if you are into trekking i would definitely recommend it but since the st mary's bridge isn't open there is like i would assume no way of getting down otherwise so for us it's kind of pointless so we were just going down to see whether we could get a good view of the castle but it doesn't seem so if it is open when you come here definitely do it and definitely bother to do the trek if you can after um, a great day hiking walking a mixture of both cable car cable carring I guess if you want to call that a certain verb but yeah hi <laughs> we're back in the same place taking a wonderful picture of all of this pretty much 180 degrees of just mountains and countryside so if I zoom in to here. Um, that is Nushvanstein and that is Hoshwangal and they're all lit up and you can actually see them from like where our apartment is which is amazing. The moon is out and bright and down this way uh, where the sun is sitting you've got the lake um, at the bottom and you can actually see from here uh, where we had walked around the whole lake this morning so that's quite fun like it's not misty anymore so it's really clear you can see the whole the whole circuit that we did so I'm signing off for today we're actually gonna cook dinner at the Airbnb apartment and ciao for now